If you want to see clearly in all different distances and be able to see at night, you have to have both your central and peripheral vision working well for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi. In this video, I'll talk about what the central and peripheral vision is and what visual functions they provide you. So you know why I recommend you to practice certain natural vision improvement techniques. First, let's talk about your visual field. Your visual field is the area of space you can see at the same time without moving your eyes and head. If you have normal healthy eyes, your total horizontal visual field should span about 190 to 220 degrees. To see what your visual field is, do the following. Stretch your both arms out to the sides and look straight ahead. Do you see images from your left arm all the way to the right arm, although you are not looking to the sides? What shows in your visual field is your total vision, which consists of your central and peripheral vision. Your central vision is the center of your gaze, very small range, about 3 to 5 degrees wide. The outside of this central vision area is your peripheral vision. Your central vision is only 1 to 2% of your total vision, and your peripheral vision is the rest, 98 to 99% of your total vision. Now that you know the definition of the central and peripheral vision, next I'll talk about why without your central and peripheral vision, you have no eyesight. Your central vision allows you to see clearly in all different distances giving you 2020 vision or even better. Using your central vision, you can read, drive, recognize faces, be able to see details clearly, see colors, distinguish shapes, and see in bright and medium light. Your peripheral vision is as important as it enables you to see in dim light, at night, in distance, as well as seeing in black, gray, and white, and detecting motion. However, your peripheral vision can give you only unclear image, which I talk about later in this video. Now you know why central and peripheral vision is so important. Without them, we do not have eyesight to speak of, right? Next, I'll talk about how the central and peripheral vision work physically, which is also important for you to know. Physically, your central and peripheral vision come from the retina. The retina at the back of the eye is populated with light-sensitive photoreceptor cells called cones and rods. You probably heard of them. In human eye, there are about 6 to 7 million cones and about 120 million rods. These cones and rods send visual information to the brain specific to their function. In bright and medium light, the cones get activated and send nerve impulses to the brain to process. In lower light, the rods get activated and send nerve impulses to the brain. Although we have much less cones than the rods, the cones give us such a sharp, clear vision. It's because each cone cell has a direct nerve fiber connection to the brain. The areas in the visual cortex is also much bigger for processing the visual information received from the cones than the rods. Perhaps that's why the cones give us sharp, clear vision, whereas the rods do not. The cones have a huge support from the brain. Do you want to know what cones and rods crave for? The good nutrients and natural sunlight is very important for the cone cells, thus for your central vision. The rod cells require lots of oxygen and get stimulated by the movement. No wonder why good blood circulation is important for your eyesight because both cones and rods receive nutrients and oxygen from the blood. Now I'll go over the physical part of the central vision and why you do not want to see everything clearly at once. The center of your visual field is focused on the small region of the retina called macula. And there is a tiny pit in the center of the macula called fovea centralis. The fovea is most sensitive and receptive to the light, giving you the greatest visual acuity. 
Only the part of an image falling upon the fovea can be seen most clearly. Another thing to know about the fovea and the central vision is their size. The fovea is so tiny, about a pinhead size, 1 mm by 1.5 mm. The fovea gives you the central vision of a clear sight, but it can cover only a small area. From a reading distance of 13 to 14 inches, the central vision area is supposed to be about half an inch in diameter per studies. How about from the distance? From 20 feet away, the central vision area will cover only 2.5 inches in diameter. That's a tiny area, right? So when you try to read or focus beyond that size at a time, will result in blurred vision. We have been told to see the big picture rather than focusing on small problems. This advice is a good one for our outlook in life, but it's not a good one at all for our eyesight. Because when we try to see everything clearly at once, we are not using our central vision, but seeing mostly through our peripheral vision, which does not give us clear vision. Thus, love your peripheral vision, but do not see through it. Dr. Bates, the pioneer of the natural eyesight improvement, 100 years ago emphasized the principle of centralization based on an anatomical fact that the human eye can see only one point clearly at any moment. Just about everyone who has imperfect eyesight benefit from practicing this centralized way of seeing, and I do incorporate various centralization techniques for my students to improve their eyesight faster. Remember, without central vision working for you, you won't be able to see anything clearly. As for the eye disease, have you heard of macular degeneration? Macular degeneration is the condition where the macula is damaged, leading to the loss of central vision, affecting your ability to see things clearly and recognize colors. Next, I'll talk about the peripheral vision. The peripheral vision is given to you by the rod cells. Rods are found everywhere in the retina except in and near the fovea and concentrated at the outer edges of the retina. The rod cells are very sensitive and responsive to low light and almost entirely responsible for your night vision. The rods, however, cannot distinguish colors and give you blurred vision, as we talked about earlier, about 2200 on the eye chart, which is one tenth of normal eyesight 2020. As for the eye disease, if you have full blown glaucoma, you lose your peripheral visual field, which is 98 to 99% of your total visual field, so you don't have much vision left. In summary, I talked about your total visual field, your central and peripheral vision, and their physical properties and functions for your eyesight. As you learned, you have to have both your central and peripheral vision working well for you to have perfect eyesight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends. Hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe.